Hello everybody, this is Fernando for the latest Cryptids and Monsters video. Well, I thought I would mix in another Cryptid of the Week here for your viewing pleasure. Um, while I'm doing this, I wanted to just mention real quick, I just finished a trip down to San Antonio, Texas, just a small weekend trip of sorts and there I was able to visit two locations that I'm going to create videos on soon one is my little trip there to the Texas Comic Con which I had a huge blast in so be on the lookout for that I'm going to include a bunch of pictures with that and then also I visited another purported haunted location this one having to do with one of the oldest living I guess you'd call it in living missions there in San Antonio in the sense that you could visit and walk up to it just like a tourist to this very day so be on the lookout for that too this random page that I selected or was randomly selected for me has to do with a creature that instantly reminded me of one that I talked about the other week remember the octo squatch that one that had to do with pretty much mixing a octopus with let's say a sasquatch here, very same concept. It was fascinating to see these two creatures essentially being done back to back just by sheer coincidence. So I was quite happy to go over the information of this random page. And what I'm talking about is this creature, this mishmash of creatures known as the Camel Leopard, which you're looking at a drawing of here. Instantly, the name Camel Leopard tells you exactly what it is. Like it's a combination, in this case, of something involving a leopard and then also purportedly a camel. But as I'll describe in some of the information here in a few minutes, it's also a combination of maybe two other creatures, too. So we're talking about a total of four creatures all together. Very, very fascinating stuff. And you also have. There's no, I guess, current whereabouts of this creature today, but you have multiple civilizations talking about it in the past, so you can't just necessarily rule out that this thing never truly existed. So, all very, very interesting info. So, what is the Camel Leopard? Well, again, the name, the portmanteau pretty much tells you it's a mishmash of various creatures all together. This, the, the distinct drawings that you're looking at here will immediately tell you some of the creatures as well. For starters, it's a creature that was purportedly found way back when. Those civilizations I was mentioning, you have to go way back in time to the Egyptian and the Sumerian time periods. That's not close. Like we're talking far, far back. We're talking thousands of years or so back then. Well, those different cultures, those two separate civilizations, each showcase texts that describe this creature in great detail too. So again, you can't really rule that stuff out because when you're dealing with two separate cultures, both of them talking about the very same creature, it makes you wonder how you know that this how this thing existed that that it truly absolutely existed during that time period so what it is is it's something the size of a camel i know it looks like a giraffe and that may be one of the creatures that it was mixed in with but um, it's not definitely the size of a giraffe it's not gigantic like that instead it's the size of a camel hence the name the camel leopard with its spots also being its most distinct feature all those beautiful spots covering its body hence the second part of its name the camel leopard and then finally it has these two large curved horns right on top of its head which also may be yet another creature in this case an antler so you're dealing with four creatures all together there's the camel itself there's the leopard there's the potential giraffe, at least based on the distinct feature, like the, the, not the features, but the distinct, uh, the way that the creature looks, uh, the silhouette, that's the word I'm looking for. And then finally, the antelope, because of the antlers on top of its head. Although there's some ideas that maybe those horns, whatever those things are, are actually some kind of natural evolution like it's a later part of its life like it did not have its its those distinct horns maybe when it was earlier 
but later on then the, it grew those horns so all quite fascinating information there's the whole idea that maybe just maybe somewhere during time there was a camel that somehow mated with a leopard and when that happened you had this thing come out uh, uh, from it, from that procreation um, but other civilizations also seem to talk about it there was a group of Arabs that also had a name for it they called it the Zarafa which distinctly noted it as being in looser terms as a fast walker so that gives you an idea of how quick this thing was it was definitely something that could move very fast otherwise they wouldn't have named it as such so that gives you yet another civilization also working or seeing this thing and working towards giving it some kind of identity for us so what could this thing be itself who knows maybe it was a one of a kind maybe there was the unnatural pairing of in this case uh, of a leopard and then maybe camel or maybe something like a cross between a giraffe something along those lines who knows but it's it's still it definitely stands out to myself that you have these very distinct cultures these very distinct civilizations talking about it and then reporting it in some of their texts and uh, not to also uh, rule out one other civilization but there were also the Greeks the ancient Greeks also highlighted some of its I guess distinct characteristics and its name and they highlighted it in some of their writings too so four cultures altogether now where would this thing have been located well apparently it was located there in Africa like that was its home that was its main domain the only known location really that I could find with regards to his existence could it be there to this very day it's possible um, there's definitely a large area there in Africa that no doubt you know hasn't been visited necessarily by humans there's also the idea that maybe just maybe it was found also in the Middle East because of the Arab civilization but mainly its domain seems to be the African land so could it be there today that'll be very fascinating to see it would definitely throw a lot of scientists uh, uh, for a loop if they were to see something like this suddenly show up let's say on National Geographic but that's pretty much it not much other info with regards to the camel leopard to report um, well, it's only because again that's not much to showcase today in today's time period uh, since we're talking about something that existed several thousands of years back but if anyone has anything they would like to share about the camel leopard about this very unique mishmashed creature of sorts that would be interesting to hear no known encounters unfortunately uh, let alone anything as far as photographic or video evidence but if anybody has anything that would be really awesome to hear so alright everybody thanks again as always take care